As Minister for Agriculture, Food and the Marine, I'm delighted to see the range of government departments, state agencies and organisations coming together virtually through the Oceans of Learning series to celebrate the importance of the shared natural resource of our oceans, seas and coastal waters with the people of Ireland. As an island nation, Ireland has a special relationship with the seas and oceans, and many of our coastal communities in particular depend on them for their livelihoods. Collaboration and scientific research are now more important than ever as we continue to work together to understand and protect our valuable marine resource and ensure their future sustainability. This past year has been a difficult one with unprecedented challenges facing everyone, not least the maritime community. As we now work to meet and recover from those challenges, we must be resilient, innovative and creative when it comes to reinvigorating our blue economy. The ocean is our greatest natural resource. It provides us with the oxygen with we breathe, provides us with food, influences our weather and our climate, contributes to our economy, sustains our coastal communities and promotes our overall well-being. At 880,000 square kilometres, Ireland's marine territories are 10 times the size of its land mass and they play a rich role in its economy through sectors such as fisheries, aquaculture, ports and shipping, technology, tourism and green energy. To protect and develop its marine environment and economy, Ireland has to become a leader in ocean knowledge, research and innovation. Together we need to understand our ocean in order to manage it in a sustainable manner. Working with partners both nationally and internationally is key to ensuring a sustainable blue economy in Ireland and globally. As a state, Ireland has undertaken one of the largest civilian seabed mapping programmes in the world. The ambition is to have Ireland's entire seabed fully mapped by 2026. Once the full territory of Ireland's seabed has been mapped, we can then fully understand and sustainably manage the complex resources that are there. The future of Ireland's marine sector and our coastal communities will depend on the sustainable management of this precious resource. Ireland's initial integrated marine plan, harnessing our ocean wealth, which developed a cross-government approach in partnership with industry, has significantly increased the focus on the value of our marine economy. Under the new programme for government, we will develop a new sustainable successor plan to maintain momentum in terms of economic development, while simultaneously protecting our marine resources. Ireland's seafood economy was valued at 1.1 billion euro in 2020, highlighting the significant role of Ireland's seafood resources in our ocean economy. As Minister with Responsibility for Fisheries, I'm acutely aware of the significant challenges facing our seafood sector as a result of Brexit, and I am committed to supporting our seafood sector and the coastal communities that depend on it. I'm confident that working together with our fishing sector, we can find solutions that will support and develop our seafood sector and coastal communities in the years ahead. Healthy fish stocks are the cornerstone of a sustainable fishery sector. So we also need to focus on protecting the marine ecosystem and building on the progress we've made in restoring and maintaining fish stocks above maximum sustainable yield levels. Seafood is an integral part of our ocean economy and we will continue to work to make progress on current challenges to secure a sustainable future for the fishing sector and the coastal communities which depend on it. We will also work to develop the aquaculture sector in a sustainable way. Ireland's first national strategic plan for sustainable aquaculture development was published by my department in 2015 and identified 24 areas of actions to progress the sustainable development of the sector. In line with the new EU strategic guidelines for a more sustainable and competitive EU aquaculture for the period 2021 to 2030, published by the Commission in the 12th of May past, my department is preparing a new national strategic plan, which I expect to publish later this year. Our programme for government also sets out a number of marine related goals linked to biodiversity, climate and bioresources, as well as integrated policy and planning. We have an obvious geographical advantage as we are on the western fringe of the EU. Other advantages include the country's significant capacities in cutting-edge digital technologies 
across both the private and public sectors. We are a key player in marine data science and modeling, as we are well positioned to apply new technologies, practices and tools to a rapidly expanding wealth of data to accelerate capabilities for marine science, innovation and management. The shipping and maritime transport sector is another, another important contributor to the economy. It generates 2.3 billion euro a year in turnover, according to the latest figures. It employs over 5,000 people and 90% of Irish trade is moved through its seaports. The Irish Maritime Development Office, reporting to my colleague, Minister for Transport, Eamon Ryan, and located in the Marine Institute, supports the development of this sector and provides economic and technical advice to government on shipping. IMDO has been very busy for the last five years providing robust analysis, data and projections in preparation for Brexit. Over the last 12 months or so, 24 new routes have been established between Ireland and continental Europe. Climate change is now a major focus and in the marine sector we can play our part in dealing with impacts of climate change, including warming seas, acidification, loss of biodiversity, weather and storm surges. The government recognises the enormous potential that the ocean has to offer in tackling climate change and the need for further scientific research to understand and develop this potential. In a year where due to the COVID-19 pandemic restrictions, we are again unable to hold the by now well-established National Marine Festival, Seafest. It is an event which has been attracting up to 100,000 people in both 2018 and 19, when hosted by Galway and Cork cities, respectively. The Oceans of Learning campaign, spearheaded by my department's agency, the Marine Institute, provides an opportunity for all who are involved in the marine, whether in government departments, state agencies, industry, or those who simply enjoy the ocean for leisure, to come together to highlight the importance of the ocean in our lives and for our livelihood. I encourage everyone to get involved in the campaign and showcase the importance of our sector through your own social media networks. Last year's initial Oceans of Learning campaign reached a global audience of over 5 million people online and we look forward to a significant increase in that figure this year. Thank you very much.